All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving a rational equation. And these are going to be pretty nicely set up simply because notice both sides of the equation. We already have just a single fraction. Um, and the denominators aren't too crazy. So uh, it's going to make life a little bit easier on us. So the first thing I'm going to do in this example is a lot of times if you can notice if anything factors and cancels at the beginning it'll make your life a little bit easier so notice the top left side this 3x minus 3 you know in my head I, I think well we could factor out a 3 then we would need an x minus 1 in the parentheses but hey lo and behold we have an x minus 1 in the denominator so that's good I'm gonna be able to cancel that stuff out and it'll just kinda of reduce you know reduce everything that's present in the problem so I'm going to cancel out my x minus 1's and on the left side you know you could think about there as being a, a 1 in the denominator so we still have 3 over 1 on the left side on the right side I, I think well I could factor a 2 out of the numerator but that's not really going to cancel out anything so I'm just going to leave it alone and now I'm going to do the same thing as in some of my other examples. I'm just simply going to cross multiply. And then that's going to turn at least this problem into a nice little linear equation that won't be hopefully too bad to, to solve. So if we take 3 times 5x, that'll give us 15x. We would have to take our positive 1 and multiply it by 2x plus 4. And I'm going to write this step out, again, just emphasizing that you should put this in parentheses and distribute everything out. But obviously, if you, you know, distribute out the 1, you just get, hey, 2x plus 4. And now I want to try to put all my x's on one side and all the numbers on the other. So in this case, um, I'm going to subtract this 2x from both sides. And the reason I do that is, well, then I'll have all my x's on one side. I'll just have my numbers or my number um, on the other side. So 15x minus 2x would give us 13x. And then we've got positive 4 left over on the right side. And now we've basically just got one little step la left to do. Um, 3x equals, excuse me, 13x equals 4. So since we're multiplying by 13, I just want to get positive 1x all by itself. So since we're multiplying by 13, we'll do sort of the opposite, which is to divide by 13. On the left side, 13 over 13 is just 1x. On the right side, we get 4 over 13, and that'll be our solution. Again, as a rule of thumb, you should always kind of go back and plug this in and make sure that, that it does work. In general, as long as it's not making one of your fractions undefined, you should be okay. But, you know, to be perfectly sure, you can always plug it in and make sure. Um, it is possible to get extraneous solutions that actually don't work at the beginning. So, just one other little thing that you have to unfortunately be worried about when you solve rational equations.